Hi, I'm Josh, and once again, welcome back to Skyrim. Well, I pilfered a few sets of uh, steel arrows, not too many, like three or four. I gave some of them to her, but I uh, kept, uh, like, two-thirds of them. That wasn't very much, was, was it? Now, let's, uh, actually, let's go to Moldering Ruins. Kill the leader of Moldering Ruins. What's this for? Oh, yeah, for the companions. Sure. Um, I should get to Rorik's step first. Look, I was thinking of, getting, of going to Markarth to get to here. But the problem is the, these hills are so steep, you, you could just as well go uh, via Swindler's Den to Rorikstead and then to uh, Molter and Ruin. So today, we head to Rorikstead. That should be the title of the episode, I hope it is. To Rorikstead. I mean, yeah, it's a good episode title. Right, um... Let's go. And it's early morning, which I do not have a problem with. East. Uh, west, sorry. Okay, that's another one of those uh, sabers, but they have a... They have, like, lesser souls. Oh, I've got a lesser soul gem. Where did I even get that? Okay, I want to kill that saber. Um, soul trap? Yes. Mr. Saberman, bring me a dream. Make it the cutest that I've ever seen. Where the heck are you going? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I'm, I'm its toy now. Uh... Where's my shield? Shield, shield. Flash, flash, flash. No, 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 you don't. Boost, and dive in. And then switch to my bow and get the heck out of the way. Uh oh, no, 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 no. Okay, that missed. That did not miss. Ah. I think I got a lesser soul gem for that. I think I filled a lesser soul gem there. Yes, I did. Great. This is going to be so much use more useful when we get back to the, you know, crafting cycle of my of the gameplay loop. Core gameplay loop is what you do in the game, and it the ideal theoretically is what that's what they say anyway. Is when you're doing thing A, you really want to be doing thing B, and when you're doing thing B, you really want to be doing thing A. And for Skyrim, it's like gathering materials to craft with. And when you're done crafting, you basically want to test those new crafting toys out. That's what my experience in Skyrim's been, and it's always nice and fun. Then again, I'm a very crafting-heavy kind of guy. I like uh, building, like, the best equipment possible, uh, to a degree anyway. The most efficient equipment possible might be the better way to say it. And, like, using it on frail and weak enemies. Yeah, that sounds good. Especially, well, they're not that frail and weak. But uh, in comparison to what I got, Batman style, all the toys and tricks, man. Oh, another saber. This th this one I do not need to uh, be uh, conservative with. Uh, 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 uh. Oops. Boom. And I level up my armor skill. Perfect. Are there any crafting disciplines that I can increase? I'm currently going to increase the 200 and then my other two to 150, I think. Uh, alchemists, don't have any of those yet. Uh, speech. No, not going to bother. Mm, not going to bother, i got plenty of money right now. Um, archery! Can't really... Critical shot, no. Uh, power shot, no. Uh, block, heavy armor, smithing. Can I do anything with smithing? I got 35 smithing. Gonna want to do, yeah, 50 zorks. Enchanting. I can do fire enchanting, but no. Let's not bother with that. Alteration, restoration. Oh, I can go do magic. Uh, I started off with alchemy, didn't I? Yeah. Enchanting. No, 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 no. What I'm gonna do is increase my sneaking skill. That's the one. I can do... Mm, no, no, not sneaking. Come on, Josh. Uh, archery, one had to do... If I... <sighs> what if I just keep this perk? Because, you know, I don't know quite where I'm going with this yet. And I might just switch to heavy armor. Uh, but I probably won't. We'll see. But I like the archery thing for now. So I'm just going to keep these perks in reserve. No, don't bash with it. What's that? Oh, it's, an, it's a 
It's another giant camp. I hope they're not, like, all over Skyrim. That's just a regional thing. Because these are, like, the plains of Skyrim, I guess. I hope they are. Or, well, if there's actual plains, that'd be cool, too. But yeah, we're making a beeline to Rorikstead. Hello, Mr. Wolf. You are not going to be a problem to me, are you? Oh, oh your brother is. Uh-oh, that was a miss. Yeah. That, however, was not. Let's draw my blade. Let's not draw my blade anymore. Okay, this is Rorik said. I can honestly say I don't think I've ever been here, and... If I ever was, my memories are so faded that I genuinely can't recall. Wheat! Wheat's good. Good. What wheat? Chicken's nest. Yes! Alchemy stuff. Yay. Like I said, core gameplay loop. Would you otherwise be enjoying this? I mean, would I otherwise be enjoying this, doing this, this, this? A lot less, I think. Yeah. Because I know what I'm getting back for this. Which is gonna be oh he, what the heck? Hello. Did you see those guards? Get out of line and you'll have them to deal with. Um, okay. Uh why do you wait, why do you sell your surplus crops? In White Run mostly. Ennis handles the business arrangements. But I know that he has a few purchasers who give us a fair price. Ah. Ennis prides himself on his business schemes. For my part, I'm far happier working with cattle and crops than with people. Makes sense. You're a high elf, which is awesome. Do I detect a bit of jealousy in your tone? I would hardly blame you. What calling could be more noble than this? I see in your eyes that you think I jest. This is awesome. I assure you I don't. I am proud, and rightfully so, of the work we do here. Working the soil with your hands, seeing your seeds take root and grow, tending a herd. There is a joy in honest labor you won't find elsewhere. I love that. She's like, uh, arrogant elf, but about something, like, sane to be arrogant about. I love it. You're, you're cool. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to... Perfect elf response. I want to, like, be an, uh, a friend to her, but I can, like, uh, sell either wheat to her, which I don't want to do because I want to, like, use the wheat, or potatoes. We're honest, hard-working folk here, and we don't suffer beggars or thieves. I have to say it, potatoes to sell. Honest pay for honest work. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm. All right. I see a lot of butterflies here. I'm actually gonna like vacuum a few of them up. Hang on a minute. What if I? Okay, there's a butterfly over there, right? Okay, there's a bunch of butterflies over here. Hello, dude. Who are you? If you've got some business in Rorikstead, you should start by speaking to Juan. You're Rorik, as in Rorik Stead. Sorry, I don't mean to be rude, but Juan's the one who deals with people. I'm afraid I lost my charm years ago. Roger. Uh, is the town of Rorikstead named after you? Yes, that's right. Look around you. Most Can't of the lock in the conversation. Are mine. Most of this I purchased while my comrades were fighting in the south. Helping the Empire against the Aldmeri Dominion. Back then, nothing would grow here, and so the land was worthless. Now, thanks to the hard work and the gods' blessings, our farms prosper. That's cool. Has the war, this war, taken a toll on your settlement and its people? Then again, yeah. Not yet, anyway, though it certainly could. With most of the Hold's fighting men committed to the war, there are fewer swords to keep the road safe from brigands and wild beasts. Makes sense. And of course, as the war drags on and supplies run low, our ample fields and stores of food will make a tempting target for desperate men. That makes sense as well. The best we can hope for is a swift end to the conflict. The longer the war goes on, the worse it will be for all of us, I'm afraid. Alright, so you said about the Great War. Did you? You fought in the Great War? Aye, that I did. I commanded a force of several dozen men, most of them levies from villages in this part of the hold. I damn near met my end in that war. An old merry soldier ran me through with his blade and left me for dead. Alvin Blade. A dealer huh. named Joanne saved my life. He's been my closest friend ever since. I tell you, 
That man is a miracle worker. Alright, so you don't want me to talk to him now. Okay, sure. Thanks. Good day. Mm. So he's like the mayor of this Podunk town. Not bad. Uh, Eric and Lem Kill. I'm actually going to grab some cabbages and some uh, potatoes. So that I might be able to, like, can some leeks. At least they don't do wheat. Just as. I don't even have. I don't think they even have wheat as an option here. Do yourself a favor and don't have children. They're good for nothing at all. Uh, I have leeks to sell. Honest pay for honest work. What a nice man. Potatoes. Honest pay for honest work. Cabbage. Honest pay for honest work. Yeah. Eric? You look like you've seen your share of adventure. I envy you that. In fact, maybe you can help me with something. Your crops seem to be. What do you need? I want to be an adventurer like you. My father says I can't. He says he needs me to stay here and work the farm. And even if he did let me be an adventurer, we couldn't afford to buy armor. His name is Mralki, and he's the innkeeper here. I hope you could change his mind. Alright. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. I can't stand the thought of being trapped in this village for the rest of my days. Don't knock it. It's it's. I guess everyone wants some variety, especially compared to their parents. Alright. All right. You and me, we're the only people around who aren't complete fools. Yeah. All right. Um. Miscellaneous. Talk to Moralki about Eric. Yeah. That sounds good. I mean, we're gonna go do quests here. Obviously. This is just a house. Not gonna bother. Do you have arrows I can, like, steal? Maybe Yuck. I'm not gonna tempt fate anymore. Such a thing has not happened for hundreds of years. Yeah, I will actually see to that soonish. If you've got some business in Rorikstead, you should start by speaking to Juan. Hello. I wish I could be an adventurer like you, and go wherever I want. Hmm, you? If you beat up my sister, Sissel. I will tell. Sorry, I don't mean to be rude, but you want the one who... No, 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 no. Um... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Can I can go... Can I go... Over the fence? Yeah, good. Can I do this? No. Well, it's just Rorik's house. So I got two more houses, Rorik's house, and the inn, which is where I'm going to go right now. Frost fruit inn. Cool man! Bit boring, but uh, yeah. Very Norse. Just over the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. Right. Hello, we Mr. News of our quarry. I think we've already talked. We have news of our quarry. I think I've already done most of that plot, if not all. Juan! Uh, Rorik told me to talk to you. If you're thinking of setting up to farm, you pick the right place. Actually. Until next time. Hello. Peace. Prosperity are all the good folk of Rorikstead want in life. Your farms are thriving, even despite the climate. What's your secret? Secret? What makes you think there's a secret? Statements there like that. Here, my curious friend. Our prosperity is simply the result of hard work, good fortune, and the blessings of the gods. Okay. Uh, if the uh, dragon shows up and I'm not here, what are you going to do? How can we? We're a community of farmers, not fighting men. If not for the war, we might have enough guards in the hold to protect the settlements. That the dragons should return now is most unfortunate. Maybe it's not by accident. I don't know. How did a Breton like you come to dwell in Rorik's dead? I know what he's gonna say. He's like Rorik's best friend, so Rorik dragged him out here and he loves it. Have you met Rorik? Mm -hmm. he and it's from him that our village gets its name. We've been friends for many years now. Rorik fought for the Empire in the Great War. He was gravely wounded, and so was brought before me. I was a healer then, you see. We were as close as kinsmen, and when Rorik returned home, I came with him. I'm happy to spend my twilight years here with my good friend. Oh, there once was a hero named Ragnar the Red who came riding to Whiteward from old Rorikstead. Akatosh, dragon breaks. Bullshit. All right then. All right. Um. 
Another Alakir warrior. You have news of our quarry. Yes, I do. I'll be talking to her soon, luring her into a trap. Not sure if that's the right idea, but whatever. Do you have a like a black box? You have Warhammer, Steel Warhammer, and money. Oh, you're detecting me. All right, all right. I only take real coin. No handouts and no bartering. Uh, no handouts, you say? All right. <sighs> what do you got for sale? Let's save that appetite, huh? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Ingredients, food, ale, food. All right. Hold on. Let's save that appetite. What was that? Surreal Brothers Wine. Resource for stamina. No. Um. I'd like to talk to you about your son. My son? Eric? What about him? Did something happen? Is he all right? He's fine. Um. I'm not gonna say that. You should let your son choose. I mean, he just said something nice. You should let your son choose the life he wants to lead. But the world is a dangerous place. Eric has no idea what he's getting himself into. What's more, he's got no armor. I'll have to save up the money for it. <sighs> Damn it. Here, use this to buy some armor for your kid. You would give your own coin to help my son. I'm moved by your compassion. Mm -hmm. Your kind deed will not go unrewarded, my friend. Tell Eric I've changed my mind and will visit White Run soon to fit him for armor. Actually, you, you tell, um, what's her name? Adriana Venici and, uh, her husband that I sent you. You know, Joshua the Dro Dovigin. Yeah, that's it. They're my neighbors. <laughs> They're my neighbors. Um, so, make, uh, what's his name? Not Mikhail, he's a jackass. Eric. Did you have any luck talking to my father? Oh, yeah. Uh, he changed his mind. I can't thank you enough, friend. I hope you'll come back to Rorikstead soon and pay me a visit. Maybe we can swap stories about our adventures over a mug of ale at the inn. Sounds good. Is it just me or does this rock look weird? Stone. Um, uh, no. Just, no. Where am I headed next? I am headed for Moldering Ruins. Now, I spent a bit of time here... Is that enough time to end the episode? Whatever. <sighs> Dumb kids. Be glad you have a dad. There was this one girl in White Run. Ah, whatever. <sighs> I shouldn't waste all my stamina now. Hmm. That's a wolf. Like all predators, it will be drawn magnetically to my foolishness. What if I did this? Ooh. It drops all the butterflies out of the sky! Well, and the wolf is way, way angrier with me. Oh, wolves, plural! I'm dead. Where'd the, uh... I mean, they slid down the slope, didn't they? The, uh... Butterflies. I think they did. Am I going to go searching for butterflies? Not really. Oh, that's where they are. Good. The blue one escaped me. But you can't win them all. So, uh, yeah, we're almost at the, um, shall we say, site now, and I don't know how big or small it's going to be. And there's a saver cat there. So I'm going to end the episode here, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. This might be very brief, but I... Between episodes, I'm going to plug in my damn clock. Thanks for watching again.